any bridge um, is going to be susceptible to high DVDT and is going to benefit from our technology. So it's Eamon with uh, IP Exchange, and we're here at the Cambridge GAN Devices booth with Peter, who we've spoken to at Electronica. So Peter's going to tell us about the H2 series Cambridge GAN Devices GAN Devices. Yeah, so we're, we're, we're launching our H2 series iScan Devices um, at this event. And what, what's particularly new about, about these devices is we are... Uh, dealing with, with a concern about no load consumption, so we're, we're improving that in our latest devices, our H2 devices, and really bringing that down by a factor of 10, which is particularly key for battery-powered devices, um, chargers at the low, lower power range. So around the 65-watt mm. range, we've got two examples here, an, an eval board and a reference design, both um, encompassing H2, and on both of these, we're bringing the no load consumption down to, we've actually got a live demo, bringing it down to around 80 milliwatts, which is a, a, a significant reduction, that's enabled by our H2 device. Oh, is that the one, the one on the scope there? It, it is, is the one that, that's lit up here. Oh, okay. And then we don't have it powered yet, but mm. we'll have that powered later on. We've just oh, got, nice. got an electrical supply issue, hence oh, it's not powered. Fair enough. Cool. Um, so in terms of, do you have some of the, some of the numbers for the, um, the differences in thresholds? Yes, well, well our, our devices, of course, have the you know, key benefit of iScan. So, mm. so, so in terms of the uh, VGS range, our, our, our VGS is 0 to, to 20 volts, and our threshold has yeah. increased from around 1.6, 1.7 volts for normal GAN uh, uh, to around 3 volts for our, our iScan devices. What the H2 circuit is particularly doing is really reducing what, what's called our quiescent current. Okay. Right. So, so it's, it's taking the quiescent current down from our H1 devices, which was around, um, around 2 milliamps, uh, down to around 200 microamps. So, so that, that is the, the, the current drawn by our device, by our VDD pin, okay. when, 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 it's, when it's always powered. Okay. So cool. quite, quite a significant um, yeah. uh, reduction, which, which has a direct impact to the, to the no load consumption of these kind of products. Cool. Yeah, so I think Peter, the other Peter, yes. was saying about how these are, are, are much more efficient and also less susceptible to uh, noise, is that correct? Exactly, yeah. yeah. So another key part of our iScan circuit is that we have a, a Miller clamp which is monolithically integrated uh, between the gate pin and source pin which hold the gate down to the source uh, even throughout quite large DVDT transients on our drain. So we can put our, our devices into quite noisy environments and know that, that if you want the device to be off, it stays off. Likewise, if you want nice. it to be on, it stays, it stays, it stays on. But what, what can be quite catastrophic is if devices are in, a, say, a bridge configuration and you have an inadvertent turn on, we know that can be particularly oh. bad. So our, our, our devices are, are, are particularly improved in that area, improving our immunity to high DVD-T transients. Cool. Um, so um, what kind of uh, applications do you think that would be this would be a great solution for where you'd get those kind of issues come up? Well, particularly, you know, any, any half bridge or full bridge mm -hmm. product where you know, your, your high side device, when it's yeah. switching naturally, okay. is going to present a, a high DVD-T, especially for a GAN device switching, mm -hmm. your high device is going to present a noisy or a high DVD-T transient mm -hmm. for your low side device and vice versa. Okay. So any, any, any bridge... Um, is going to be susceptible to high DVD-T and is going to benefit from our technology. Um, but, but also just a peace of mind, you know, really, uh, it's not just the GAN devices that can generate uh, high DVD-T. You can just have other, uh, you can have large inductances, capacitances, maybe resonant residences within your design that could cause that. Yeah. And you just know with our devices, they're going to be much less susceptible. Good. Oh, nice. Um, so you mentioned they're new. Are they are they available yet, or are they? They are available through oh, through DigiKey through main main distributor. Nice. And um, yeah, and then we we are currently I'm not sure if Peter covered it, but we're currently expanding our our range of RDS ons. So we, we currently have from a high of uh, 214 milli ohms down to 55 milli ohms, okay. and we're very soon going to be expanding that, that range to other lower RDS ons. And we have some sample parts here today. Oh, nice, cool. Um, well, that's a lot to take in already. Yeah. Is, was there any um, any particular designs you wanted to kind of talk about? Just 
in, in for the interest of our audience. Okay, well, probably a, a very interesting one. Yeah. We've got this, this area of our booth, which is particularly focused on, on collaborations. Mm -hmm. so, so here oh. we're, we are, we're showing a three kilowatt boost application. Is that a little Murata? It, it, it is. It, yeah. It's got a Murata part on it. Yeah. yeah. But uh, the, the, I guess from our point of view, yeah. we're focusing on, on, on the GAN devices. Yeah, so yeah. it's got two of our 55 milliohm GAN devices mm -hmm. and it's in a PV inverter. Oh, okay. Cool. Yeah. So, um, and, and, and that, that's a, you know, a key kind of new product for us, particularly uh, linked in with our, um, our values of sustainability. Yeah. Um, but another really interesting product is, is this ha very high end uh, Class D power stage. So th this is taking our products in both the, the, the power supply side but also the, the Class D switching side. Taking our 55 milliohm parts and um, yeah, it's just a, a bit of a flagship mm. product for us. Nice. Um, so we're, we're now a, a it's, well, it's one of our first um, design in business wins. Cool. And when, when you say Class D, is that audio Class D? Audio Class D. Nice. So, yes. I always yes. love audio products. Yeah. <laughs> cool. I don't suppose you're allowed to say who you're doing that with, are you? Well, I think uh, it's with AGD. So oh. AGD is a company, it's an Italian company. Oh, nice. Have you, have you heard of that? Uh, I'm not sure. That they I'm, are, yeah. Um, yeah, particularly expensive. Yeah, certainly well be, well beyond my budget. Cool. Is that Hi-Fi? <laughs> um, Hi-Fi. Hi yes. yes. Nice. I have to look them up. <laughs> cool. Um, other than that, I think uh, it's time to ask the question that is the question at the end of every interview, which is how are you finding PCA out AM? Well, I mean, of course, it's the first day. It started off quite slow. We had the first presentation here with uh, you know, very small single digit numbers. Mm. Um, but I think you know, it's really picking up. And mm. uh, it's actually quite a nice location here now. Yeah, I see you've got some natural sunlight, so. We've got some natural sunlight. <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> uh, but it, but it's, quite, it's quite nice being yeah. opposite the industry stage and we're getting a lot of football. So it's, it's really good. Oh, good. Thank you. Well, it's good to see you again, Peter. Yeah. Likewise. Yeah. Cheers. Thank you. Well, that was a very good interview with Cambridge GAN devices. Uh, we spoke to Peter at. Uh, Electronica for the first time when we first met him. Uh, there was another Peter uh, at the stand who gave us another thorough explanation of all their innovations. It was also very nice of uh, Peter to give me this Cambridge GAN devices water bottle because um, I heard that they had some pencils that you can plant at one of their other shows because they love their green policies. Anyway, uh, check out their uh, devices on the IP Exchange website. I've included a link to both designs that we've talked about, which obviously includes these new H2 series devices.